Anthrax is an often fatal bacterial infection that results when the endospores of the bacteria are introduced into the body from one of three ways. One form of infection is initiated when the endospores enter through a cut or abrasion in the skin. This is known as cutaneous anthrax. Once inside the skin, the endospores migrate to the bloodstream. Another form of infection can result from the introduction of endospores into food, which is then consumed. This is known as gastrointestinal anthrax. Inhalation anthrax is the third form of infection and occurs when airborne endospores are inhaled into the body. After a brief journey to the lungs, the endospores enter alveolar sacs where they attach to the tissue of the alveoli. This is where the body initiates an immune response against the anthrax endospores. Immune cells in the body, called macrophage cells, become alert of the endospore's presence and begin to attack by exiting the bloodstream. The immune cells engulf the endospores as foreign bodies and then enter back into the bloodstream where they travel for a brief time. The normal response of macrophage cells is to destroy bacteria allowed to invade the body, then travel to lymph glands where they prepare the immune system for future attacks. However, anthrax endospores are not destroyed, but begin to germinate within the macrophage cells until they end their journey within a lymph gland. Once inside the gland, the endospores develop into vegetative bacteria known as bacilli, which are then released from the macrophage. Once released, the bacilli cause damage to the cells of the lymph gland and begin to travel throughout the lymphatic system. During their travel, the anthrax bacteria begin to grow and multiply, infecting surrounding areas where they eventually make their way back into the bloodstream. Also during their travel, the anthrax bacteria emit virulence factors which contain the exotoxins responsible for a condition known as toxemia or blood poisoning. The exotoxins are then released from the bloodstream where they invade neighboring cells. This invasion makes the cells unable to regulate their environment and causes the cells to release water and eventually die. This buildup of water causes a condition known as pulmonary edema in which a large amount of fluid accumulates in the lungs resulting in tissue damage and pulmonary complications. For most people, symptoms can occur between one and seven days from exposure to the anthrax bacteria. Such symptoms resemble a common cold and may include fever, cough, chills, muscle pain, shortness of breath, and shock. Inhalation anthrax, if not treated, can progress to severe disease and is usually fatal.